Was that a shard? I don't know. What do you think it was? I'd forgotten the way it felt. Like uninvited claws scraping across my bones. Well, maybe if you, like, crushed it and then sniffed it off of a mirror, it would feel a little bit better. The demon's power was transmuted into that shard, which forcibly bonded to the crystal embedded in your body. The strength you gain from it is undeniable, but eventually, the crystal will devour you. Not if I eat it first. I thought the procedure you discovered halted the corruption. It did, but that doesn't guarantee you'll be safe if you start absorbing shards in massive quantities. Well, there's only one way to find out. I know my body's limits better than anyone, and I'm going to need all the power I can get. You know your body's limits better than anyone, yet you've been asleep for ten years. Do you really know your body's limits? Because, I don't know. I feel like you'd be a little bit atrophied by now, but apparently not. If I run into trouble, you can help me. You've done it before. You'll do it again. Wow, real snotty there. <laughs> Thanks for giving me a choice in the matter. Well, I won't let you down. Not if I can help it. Thanks, Ed. Just promise you won't push yourself. Eh, we'll try. <coughs> Say what now? Uh-oh. Someone's getting pulled into the How next room. How did get inside? The demons from the castle must have infested the ship. I mean, the last one kind of got through by breaking through the window, I assume in a similar fashion. Then they can help me wake up these muscles of mine. I'll wipe the deck with them. I'll wipe the deck with them. And meanwhile, I'll make my atrophied muscles look a little bit stronger. Yes. All right. So throughout uh, the area, you will see uh, a lot of these lanterns here. If you, uh, if you kick them before... Uh, anything else then you will uh, get some money out of them but if you uh, if you go ahead and use an ability and you uh, you have some mana out of there you'll get a mana rose instead because candles can drop a mana rose when destroyed a mana rose is a magical rose that will slightly replenish MP or mana points so um it's very, very important that we actually kick all these things, uh, even if we uh, do have full mana points, because that's pretty much the best way to get money in this game. Unfortunately, a lot of it uh, uh, does not come from just playing the game and killing monsters. You get some, but not very much. Anyway, um, let's check out our archives here. Uh, compendium, perhaps? So we have uh, some information on conjure shards. We've got uh, information on the grade and the rank as well. So this is just telling us about pressing Y to use the shard. And uh, generally, conjure shards tend to be attacks. The grade is uh, for the shard itself and indicates its power or effect. Each duplicate shard that you collect increases the shard's grade up to a maximum of nine. Rank. You can increase a shard's rank by enhancing it uh, alchemically. Increasing a passive shard's rank to 9 will, con will convert it into a skill shard. Awesome. We've got uh, a little thing about the, uh, the mana roses. A purple glowing rose that can be found by breaking candle holders or sconces. Pick it up to regain a little MP. Okay, and I think that basically is it. I thought we got something about the demons, but that's pretty much the same thing we read before. Well, cool. All right, so we've tried the shoes. Let's try a different equipment here. Go with the knife here. Do a little stabby stab. So, um, also this game kind of acts like a fighting game. I don't know if you can do it with a knife, but uh, there's there's various uh, different things that you can do with uh, some of the equipment here um, that will allow you to do uh, like fighting moves. I think. Uh, let's see if I can do it here. There we go. So um, that basically is a small. 
technique that we can learn. Um, throughout the game, you'll you'll learn some more techniques. Um, it does use mana points to actually use the techniques, so I probably won't use too much of them. I find that uh, the the shards tend to be a better use of your your mana points than using this stuff. Um, in some cases, that's wrong. There's there's some good stuff out there, but most of the time, eh, not so much. Um, so we can go ahead and check out the uh, the technique that we just did here, which is the flashing air kick. Um, if you uh, if you do it enough, you you may have heard that she just said uh, un just now. Um, if you do it multiple times in a row, she'll count up un de. <laughs> it's fun, fun stuff. Um, let's see here. Go back to our compendium because uh, we just got some information on techniques. Techniques are special moves that are tied to specific weapons. By inputting the right sequence of buttons, you can expend MP and use the technique. All right. Did we get anything else? I think I think that was about it. Okay. Cool. We'll switch back to the uh, the knife here, and we'll okay. We'll not remove it. Ugh. The joystick on this uh, this controller is uh, a little little floaty. Oh yeah, that music sounds good. I like it. Ooh, you squishy. Let's go see our uh, our demon friend here in the archives. Take a look at him. So uh, the guy that we just killed is called a uh, Mort. A Morte uh, is a lesser demon that must draw form and sentience from other sources. First guy that we uh, got was a Sema, or a Seaman, perhaps. A uh, Pelagic uh, mult Multiplied bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> Multiped uh, that occasionally leaves the sea to torment the land. He's got a creepy looking mouth on his on his head there. That is that is one creepy looking squid, man. One creepy looking squid. Oh wow, you can like you can really get into it. so I I never really uh, uh, thought about this. I mean, you can look at the the item drops for these guys, which is great important stuff. Um, but I never thought about the fact that you can actually uh, uh, figure out what they're uh, what they're weak to right here. Um, I didn't even pay attention to that when I was playing this game uh, the first time around. Interesting. All right, Do some more stabs. Press uh, A to jump and hold it down to jump higher. So there's uh, there's some places that are. Uh, in this area that we won't be able to access, like this guy here, um, until later on. This is a true uh, Metroidvanian game. There's uh, there's lots and lots of things to do, plenty to explore, um, and it's it is a lot of fun. It is most definitely a lot of fun to uh, to go through all of this stuff. Will I find everything? I don't know. <laughs> there's there's a lot to find. This device responds to magic. Maybe I just need to hold my hand up to it. Maybe so. Let's see if we can. Ooh, I got bubbles. Pretty bubbles. What in the hell is going on back here? Ooh, shaky. I really like the uh, the knife, even though uh, I can't uh, seem to uh, do anything else than stabby stab with it, because it uh, it really gives a a, a nice uh, quick stab compared to uh, using the boot. Doesn't have a very good range though. So it's, uh, it's a good idea to uh, get a few of these guys killed here because you will find items from them. And if you aren't killing these guys, you're going to miss out on a lot of good stuff. Got a little level up there. Doing six damage instead of five. Always a good thing. Let's see what we got going on up here. 
Can I make it? Oh, not, not quite. Not quite. All right, we just need to get this slightly more over before we make our jump. There we go. Ooh, what do we got? We have the Gale Crawler. Create a shockwave that travels across the ground and rips enemies apart. Ooh, sounds fun. And a country dress. Gotta check that thing out. Let's see here. We have nothing on currently, so this country dress is probably going to be worthwhile to have on, I would assume. <laughs> you want something. All right, well, we haven't really, uh, we haven't really used our Cerulean Splash yet, so I guess I'll use that first. Um, but this is, uh, this is gonna launch a bouncy ball of water at our enemies, and, uh, sooner or later we'll try this, uh, Gale Crawler out as well. Anything over here? Ooh. HP up. Nice. Yeah, there's, there is quite a few, uh, different things that you can, you can end up finding in this, uh, in this place. Just, you gotta make sure that you bash all of the walls in every area because uh, you never know you never know if you're if you're going up uh, against uh, a wall that uh, that looks a little a little suspicious you might want to tap on that wall I will probably miss plenty of stuff though all right let's try your own water ball on you ooh hey now that's that right there I believe is a glitch Taking a lot of damage because of that glitch. <laughs> All right, well, I need to find a, uh, a save point and uh, exit the game and come back to it because usually that glitch um, where the uh, cerulean ball just bounces up and down in the same spot uh, gets fixed when you uh, restart the game. But unfortunately, I can't do that right now without <laughs> restarting everything because we haven't found a save point yet. Um, I guess we'll try uh, a different shard. In the meantime, let's see if the Gale Crawler is functional. This guy's about to spit up on me. Okay, that one works. Wow, that one works real well. Killed pretty much everything in front of it. Ooh, nice. So since we've got two of the Cerulean Splash, that's going to mean that it will... Uh, give us a little bit more uh, attack power there. Alright, let's get moving on. See where we can go over here. I see a treasure chest. Ooh, hey now. Don't smack me with that. I don't like that. Ow! Alright, have some of that. Wow, you a little bit tough. Just a little bit tough. Watch it. Nice. Rusted ring. Let's go put that baby on. I keep wanting to hit uh, a different a different key when I'm coming in here, and it does not work. It doesn't work. <laughs> I gotta remember it. Okay, so we get a, uh, a little bit of defense and some constitution out of that. It's pretty nice. Uh, another thing to, uh, to mention real quick here is with the stats, you'll notice that we have uh, defense... Uh, constitution and mind uh, to one side and then we have attack strength intelligence and luck to the other side um, most of the stuff that's on the left hand side is is meant for how much damage you're going to do so either with your physical or uh, magical attacks whereas uh, the other side of things is going to be for your uh, your defense um, luck, on the other hand, is uh, not just for your attack, which would be kind of like critical hits, uh, but it's also for uh, for drops in this game. So, luck is pretty good. You want to be a little lucky. And also, uh, being lucky and not getting hit, that's, that's pretty good, too. 
course, that's uh, that's a little bit more skill based than anything else. Yeah, we can slide down here, grab a tunic, which I believe is probably not as good as the uh, the item that we just got, but we'll we'll check it out. It does have uh, two defense, so it's not as good as our country dress here, which is just a common plain dress, but it's a little bit better than a tunic, which is a long shirt made of plain cloth. Our rusted ring is just a little rusted ring. <laughs> Disappointment. We got a bookcase here. What we got? From my studies, I have found the existence of the following attributes. So, just in case you aren't looking through all of the uh, the various tidbits of uh, information that you can find in this game, they also try to put it in front of you. Um, and this is just one of those books that uh, that will throw it up in front of your face. See a treasure chest on the map here. Definitely want to make sure we get that. Stabby, stabby! Anything? No. Got a potion. Nice. Potions are always good. All right, to go down or to go over? Uh, let's go down. Go see what we got going down here. You look a little suspicious. Nothing? Okay. So this is another room. I guess we'll go down first. See what's in the rest of this room. Squishy things are in the rest of this room. I got a hairband. Nice! I can join the 80s! Yes! <laughs> Alright, uh, oh, I keep going to the inventory. I need to go to my equipment. Alright, hairband. Let's see what we got here. We got two defense and intelligence versus one defense. Sorry, Miriam, your ram horns are gonna have to go. We're gonna have to replace it with a, a cute little hairband here. It's just a simple hairband. Keeps the hair away from your, uh, from your eyes. I mean, with all this uh, demon fighting, it's probably going to be a good idea. We'll uh, we'll prevent it uh, from getting in my face. Somehow, somehow the hair is still in her eyes, though. Like, I mean, she's got she's got like this this triangular hair bit going on. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I, I love the curls that she's got going on, though. It's pretty cool. Hey, what should be doing that? All right, this looks. Yes, I thought so. Oh, this is just another room? Ooh. Thousand gold. We got here. Ooh, max MP up. Nice. Anything else over here? No? Okay. Now, the real question is do I want to. Stay down here or go check up here. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go check up here first. Let's go see what we got going. Oh, you look you look real fun. No thanks. Ooh. What we got here. It's a directional shard. We can aim with uh, one of our buttons and press the right trigger to activate, casting uh, magic towards the aimed direction. Consume some MP. Okay. Flame cannon, launch a fireball in the designated direction. All right. Use the newly obtained flame cannon shard to light the cannon fuse. All right. Blown up walls. 